All right, this week on to DIY for we are doing a request. Hey, I'm Janelle, and if you ever have a request, please, please reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, at Janelle Steeper. You can leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. So Diana Aljara reached out to me on Instagram and she said, I would love to make this piece for my space, but I have no idea how to start. So she sent me this photo and I thought, oh yeah, totally. I've got an idea for that. And it's actually really cost effective. So sometimes large walls are a little challenging. They can be costly to decorate. You don't wanna spend a lot of money on like a huge piece of artwork. I think this wall decor is gonna be simple to put up, really beautiful, and we're gonna get right into it. So for this project, you need three hula hoops. I actually snagged these at the dollar store for around $1.25 a piece. They do have little rocks inside of them to kind of make a little shaker noise. I wanted to remove those. You should be able to open up your hula hoop pretty easily with that little connector piece there. And then once you've removed rocks or beads, make sure you glue it back in place. So this is how you can adjust the size because we want three different ring sizes. Just take an X-Acto knife and cut through your hula hoop at any spot you want and glue it back together. Make sure you add the glue to both sides of that connector piece to make sure that these rings will stay together. So now I'm just gonna spray paint these whatever color you want that fits with your decor. Once they're dry, we're going to take some cording. So I'm actually using jute for this as it's a really inexpensive expensive, um, you know, rope or cord, whatever you want to call it. I think this is what was in the original inspiration pick sent to me. So that's why I went for this and all you have to do is hot glue it into place. So I'm wrapping this around. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. Just trying to fill in all of the gaps. And the only thing I would say is that you need to glue every single time you wrap around the hula hoop. That is going to allow the string to stay in place, it's gonna stay taut, and it's also gonna give you um, the opportunity to be able to direct that string wherever you want it to go. The other thing is make sure you're only gluing to the back side of your hula hoop. That way you don't see any of the glue on the front. So do this to as many hoops as you want. Do it with whatever colors you want. You could use macrame cord, you could use yarn. It really doesn't matter, but it's a super simple, cheap project for a large piece of wall decor. It cost me under $10 to make these and it's pretty quick and simple as well. Also great for renters because they're so lightweight all you have to do is put a push pin in the wall to hang them up. Let me know what you thought of this DIY. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new DIY. And thanks to Diana for suggesting this. If you have any suggestions, please send them my way.